ladies and gentlemen, Chicago Fire head coach Frank Clopas. Frank, tough game. Fire seemed to control most of the game. Your thought on how the club did today? No, I would agree. I don't think most of the game. I think the whole game. You know, I think you, you look at games like this, and you know, you're scratching your head how we lost a game like this. You know, came out, and I thought that we had good energy, we were good with the ball. Mm -hmm. The only chance in the first half were uh, through opportunities where. I thought we forced the ball in, in, in bad spots, and we knew that they're a good team in transition. But other than that, you know, you walk away the first half, you know, we created enough opportunities, we didn't score. I think the second half, we had even more possession, we pushed the game. And then, you know, bad call and a, not even a foul, I think we fall asleep. You know, they take a quick restart, and then you give up a, a goal. So, you know, obviously it's frustrating, you know, in games like that, but that's, that's soccer. You know, you scratch your head at times, but I felt that, uh, you know, we played well enough for sure not to lose, but to get the three points today. Yes. Frank, uh, what did you think of uh, Rolf and Niako up top? And at what point did you know that uh, McDonald was a, a no-go today? Well, yesterday he came in and he was feeling, uh, he was under the weather a little bit, and I asked him if, uh, you know, he was able to train. And uh, he tried to train. We sent him to, uh, to see our doctor, and he had strep throat, and we wanted to keep him away because it's uh, contagious, I guess, from what he said. So we didn't want that spreading throughout the team. and. Uh, so it was late afternoon yesterday that uh, uh, after he got examined by uh, our physician, Dr. Munoz, that uh, you know I got the feedback from him and we decided to leave him home, not to have him around the players. Oh, the two, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I thought they, they, you know, listen, I thought that they combined well. You know, we had, uh, 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 I think they showed well. I think the, you can just see by the opportunities. I think Patrick was dangerous, uh, Rafi, they, they, you know, their ability to, I think, play off each other and stay more connected and then pushing, I think, uh, Danny a little bit higher up the field, you know, because I think uh, a lot of times you, you get the forwards, everybody has to defend, but I think you need their energy mostly in the final third, you know, and I think that did help at times, but I felt that uh, as a team, we worked pretty hard and uh, those two, their ability to stay connected and combine and be dangerous and, you know, Patrick, when he got the ball, he was very good off the dribble and he created a lot of opportunities. It's just a shame that... Uh, you know, he didn't get rewarded by a goal, but I felt overall it's, you know, it's just little things that are hurting us right now, you know. And, uh, uh, over 90 minutes, I think that, you know, it's just, you, you get the chances, you don't score, and then it's, you can say a little bit unfair, but that's that's the game, you know. Just got to go back and keep working on just our focus being, you know, in every situation through 90 minutes. Do you think, I mean, what is missing offensively? I mean, this is what, the fifth shutout now at this point in nine games. No, I mean, Seth, I, I, mean, I said it in the past. I mean, it would be different if we were not, you know, creating chances. You know, then you can scratch your head. But you look at the game today, I mean, we had possession, more possession in the second half, you know, shots on goal, opportunities. I mean, you guys saw the same game. I hope that I'm watching, unless maybe you put the Bulls game on last night. <laughs> <laughs> but... You know, I mean, you, you saw the chances we created. You know, it's, I mean, I, I can't tell you, you know, all I can tell you is that we have chances, you know, and I think that's a positive thing. But we need to, we need to finish because when you have five, six, seven chances, uh, you know, it'd be good if we had a couple goals and you, you even play with a little bit, uh, uh, not as much pressure also. Jack? You had opportunities, of course, but they had a pretty good goal after McNabb did a nice, very nice job. Yeah, no, no, no. Listen, I think to win on the road, you know, I think, you know, you need goalie, a uh, goalkeeper to, you know, play big, and you know, when you get the one chance to finish like they did and defend well as a team, and uh, and then be lucky also, a little bit lucky. I think we've been in, in cases like that in the past when we won, and it just seems now those things uh, are not going away. It's not uh, due to lack of effort or or trying from the guys, you know, uh, so. Just gotta keep uh, keep working. Obviously, it's disappointing when you lose at home. You know, it's you need to win your your home games. You know, and uh, so uh, you know, I don't know much more to say, but just to really get back and you know, go back to work and start uh, doing the things in the in the pitch again. But uh, I felt that we we played uh, well enough to win the game. Frank, these are the kind of games. These were the kind of games last year that the team was able to pull out three points a lot of times. Uh, with mo most of the core from last year here, what's what's different this year from, from last year's squad? I think one of the things is for sure you're missing Arna in the back. 
you know, for sure, 100%. You know, I mean, his ability to communicate and, you know, and uh, over 90 minutes, his ability to, you know, uh, uh, dictate uh, almost the back line, when to move up, to stay connected with the team. Another guy that's very good uh, with his feet and be able to play uh, the right balls at the right time and get out of pressure, you know, uh, I think it's, it's, uh, it's huge. And uh, uh, we're making some mistakes right now that are hurting us. And uh, uh, I mean, and then the other guys, I mean, it's, it's kind of a, you know, it's, you're saying with Rolfi and one, one Mac, we had a very strong second half and they played well. So, you know, um, you got to just keep working on things. I really don't know. I think the biggest absence for us, I think for sure, you know, Arne in the back being, we, we really miss his leadership and his ability to, Kind of command uh, the back line, and uh, you can see even in a play like today. Ruben, last question. It seemed like a lot of the shots uh, on target today were hit either directly at or within the radius of Zach McMath. Is shot placement something uh, you think that could be improved that would help this team? Yeah, put the ball up or 90. You don't, you know, I mean, what do you do? I mean, it's like you try to duplicate those situations in practice, you know? How do you improve that or get the confidence? You have repetition and training in the final third shooting. And, you know, that's what, you know, we do those stuff in training. Those guys are capable of putting, you know, uh, finishing. They're, they're, they're proven guys have done it in the past. So I can't tell you in the game when the chance comes, you know, the game is a little bit different. You have a guy, the pressure, this or that, all that. But, you know, yeah, I mean, if the ball goes three inches to the left, three inches to the right, you know, we might be talking about a, Different thing right now, but you know, give credit to them. Also, they defended well. The goalie came up with big saves. But this is one. A lot of times, you scratch your head and you say, you know, if you look at the game again and you're saying, how did you lose this game? You know, it's one mistake. They score. We have ten chances. We don't score. You know, one little mistake. So you know, that's the game. You know, so just have to learn. I think some guys again some good experience, but you know, we need to move forward and also look to see how we can improve certain spots on the field. Thanks. Thanks.